you stop it? Yeah, is it possible? I mean, what? Hang on. Um, one second. Okay. Assalamu alaikum. You ready? Okay, just give me a second, alright? Give me two seconds. Is you live, right? Okay. Okay, the phone don't. إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور ينفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا لا يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم والذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والأرحام إن الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم وما يتع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما أما بعض فإن خير الكلام كلام الله وأحسن الهدي هدى محمد صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وسلم والشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل دلالة في النار أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله I believe that it is the sixth day inshallah of the month of Shawwal 1438 years after the hijrah of our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam corresponding with the first day of July 2017 CE and for the next six minutes inshallah no more than eight, and Allah Tabaraka Ta'ala knows best. We want to bring something that I have heard from the noble scholar, the erudite, the doctor, the mufti, the alama, Sheikh Muhammad, Sheikh Muhammad ibn Salih, Afwan Sheikh Salih ibn Fawzan al Fawzan. This is something that I heard him say that uh, this past Ramadan, <clears throat> that in all of my years, I don't think I've heard something so profound from any of the scholars today, our modern day scholars, so profound but so succinct and, and just under nine minutes the sheikh he says that the cessation of the month of ramadan that is the ceasing or the ending of the month of ramadan does not mean that the rights of allah have ceased that the rights of Allah has stopped. He says, in the Allahi la yantahi illa al He said, because the rights of Allah, they do not, they, they do not end, they do not cease, illa bil except by death. And then the Shaykh he recited the ayah from the book of Allah, wa abudu rabbak hatta yatiyakil yatkin. وَعْبُدُوا رَبَّكْ حَتَّى يَأْتِيَكَ الْيَقِينَ And worship your Lord until al yaqeen has come to you. Or until al yaqeen comes to you. And al yaqeen here, it literally means certainty, meaning having no doubt, the absence of doubt. But here the word al yaqeen means death. Then the Sheikh, and at this point, if you heard the recording, he's about to cry. 
you can see his voice starts to trembling and he's about to cry. He said, Allahu Rabbu Ramadan. Allah is the Lord of Ramadan. Wahu Rabbu Shawwal. And he's the Lord of Shawwal. He said, Allah is the Lord of Ramadan and he's the Lord of Shawwal. Why is the Sheikh saying this? He's saying this because even though we know that we are of Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah, we are the people who ascribe to the way of the Salaf. We are those who are Sunniyun, Salafiyun. We are those, insha'Allah ta'ala, that are of Ta'ifatul Mansura, the victorious group, Al Firqatul Najiyah, the safe sect. We are those who have been distinguished from all of the other Muslims, all of the other groups, all of the other sects that have deviated either to the right or the left. And one of the things that distinguishes us from those groups is that we single out Allah in worship. We single out Allah in worship. But the Sheikh here, he's saying, Allahu Rabbu Ramadan wa huwa Rabbu Shawwal. He's the Lord of Ramadan. He's the Lord of Shawwal. What is he saying? He's saying that even though we are those who single out Allah in worship, he's implying when his voice started to break up as though he was about to cry, that we should not, we should not single out Allah. What is, what is he implying? That we shouldn't single out Allah. Not that we shouldn't single out Allah in worship, ascribing no partners to him, but we shouldn't single out Allah in worshiping him alone in Ramadan. That we shouldn't single him out alone in Ramadan. What do we mean by this? To elaborate even more. We are people of Tawheed. We are those who single out Allah in worship. We are the Mawahidun. You brother, you are Mawahid, and you sister, you are Mawahidah. But the Sheikh is implying, he's hinting that we sh there's a Tawheed that is haram. There is a, there is a Tawheed that is mamnur. It is prohibited. There is a Tawheed that we should stay far away from. And that Tawheed is the one where you single him out only in the month of Ramadan. That's what the Sheikh is saying. And this is what I understood from his voice trembling and cracking up like he was about to cry. The Sheikh said, Allahu huwa Rabbu Ramadan wa huwa Rabbu Shawwal. He's the Lord of Ramadan. He's the Lord of Shawwal. Wa huwa Rabbu Jami'i Shuhur Sana. He's the Lord of all of the months of the year. So in other words, don't just single him out in Ramadan. I'm not even sure if it's permissible to call a Muslim a Ramadan Muslim. Myself, your brother, your elder brother, that would indeed. I'm not sure if the phrase, if the terminology Ramadan Muslim is appropriate, is correct. Because a Ramadan Muslim, it indicates that he only worships Allah in Ramadan. It has that import. It has that meaning. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep us far away, away from only worshiping him and singling him out in Ramadan. The Shaykh says, fi kulli shuhur. So fear Allah in all of the months. Then the Shaykh said three times, Hafizu ala dinikum. Hafizu ala dinikum. Hafizu ala dinikum. Preserve and protect your religion. Preserve and protect your religion. Preserve and protect this beautiful way of life that Allah chose for you and completed and perfected for you and was pleased to give to you as a way of life. Hafizu ala dinikum. Preserve and protect your deen. He says, فَإِنَّهُ رَأْسُ مَالِكُمْ عِنْدَ اللَّهِ سُبْحَانَهُ وَتَعَالَى he says, because it, meaning the deen of Allah, 
the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is, your, is the capital of your wealth. It is the capital of your wealth with Allah. With Allah, it is the capital of your wealth. He says, And it is your salvation and your protection and your safety from the fire. Then the Sheikh said it again. So protect, O Muslim. Preserve, O Muslim. Take care of your deen. And hold on to it in all of the months. And hold on to it all of the time. In the Shahu Ramadan, Yutba'u bi Shukr. Then the Sheikh he said, Indeed, the month of Ramadan should be followed up with thanks. Indeed, the month of Ramadan should be followed up with gratitude. Indeed, the month of Ramadan should be followed up with gratefulness. And it should be followed up, meaning in Shawwal. And the month that comes after Shawwal. And the month that comes after the month that comes after Shawwal. It should be followed up with the seeking the forgiveness of Allah. Why? It's because in the month of Ramadan, we were thankful to Allah. In the month of Ramadan, we were grateful to Allah. In the month of Ramadan, we were seeking the forgiveness constantly, day and night of Allah. He said it should be followed up with the seeking the forgiveness of Allah. It should be followed up with glee, with happiness. It should be followed up with glee and happiness. The happiness from the fadl of Allah, the bounty of Allah, in which he was the one who enabled us in the first place to fast in his days and to stand up in his nights. Then the Sheikh he said that we should be gleeful. We should be happy for this. We should be happy meaning that Allah gave us the ability to stand up at night and to fast in its days. We should not be happy that the month has ended. That's not what we should be happy with. Similar to many of us, unfortunately, we rush through the prayer. We're happy that the prayer has ended. And when the adhan is called, we're saddened. We're saddened when we hear the adhan because the, the, the adhan is an indication of something that we have made a burden on ourselves. Something that doesn't give us relaxation. Something that doesn't give us happiness. So when we hear the adhan, and even worse than that, the ikama for some of us, we become saddened. And we can't wait for it to finish. We can't wait for the imam to say, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Why? It's because we want to hurry up and get back to the dunya. We want to hurry up and get back to chasing those Benjamins. We want to hurry up and get back to looking at TV. And listening to a radio and getting back to those weapons of mass distraction. Not weapons of mass destruction, but the tablet and the smartphone has become a weapon of mass distraction. We can't wait to get back to it. So we're saddened when the adhan is called. We're saddened when the iqamah is called. We're saddened that the imam has taken a long time in sujood because he's seeking the forgiveness of Allah. We should be also behind him. We're saddened. And then we're happy. Nafrahu, we're happy when it ends, when the Iman says, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah, and the proof of it is, or one of the many proofs, is that we go right back to smacking fives and giving high fives and fist, and fist bumps and talking loud in the masjid without making a proper subhanallah, 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 alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. After saying, Astaghfirullah, 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 Allahumma anta salam, wa minka salam, tabarakta yadal jalali wa lakra. 
The Shaykh says, وَإِنَّمَا نَفْرَحُ بِأَنَّنَا أَكْمَلْنَاهُ بِعِبَادَةِ اللَّهِ He says, so we only should be happy, we only should be happy that we were able to complete that act of worship for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He says, لِهَذَا نَفْرَحُ He said, this is the reason why we should be happy. And then the Shaykh, he recited the ayah from the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Well, Allah says, قُلْ بِفَضْلِ اللَّهِ وَبِرْحْمَتِهِ He says, Say to them, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, it is by the fadl of Allah, it is by the bounty of Allah and His mercy that you should be happy. It is by the fadl of Allah and His mercy that you should be happy. What is that fadl of Allah? That fadl of Allah, brothers, is Islam. That mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the Quran. The Sheriff says, Allah says, قُلْ بِفَضْلِ اللَّهِ وَبِرَحْمَتِهِ فَبِذَلِكَ يَفْرَحُ هُوَ خَيْرٌ مِمَّا يَسْمَعُونَ Say to them, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, in the bounty of Allah and His mercy, therein let them rejoice. This is the reason why we should rejoice. This is the reason why we should be happy. The Sheikh is saying that Allah is saying. This is the reason why we should be rejoicing and we should be happy. That is better than that, the wealth that they accumulate. That is better than that wealth that they jumping up out of the salah and rushing to and, and hurrying up on the 27th, the 28th, the 29th days of Ramadan hurry time to go to, to go to the store to make sure we get those right vows to make sure that we get those overgarments at the very end of ramadan you lose your pace you lose that sprint you let that that racehorse beat you because when the racehorse sees the midmar when the racehorse sees the, the finishing line the, the racehorse speeds up the pace that's why ibn al-jawzi said we should not let the racehorse be be more clever than us. Why? Because the Prophet Sallallahu he said, إِنَّمَا الْأَعْمَالُ بِالْخُوَاتِينَ That actions are, actions are judged by the last thing you do. Actions are judged by their finality. By their finality. So why is it that right around the time that Ramadan is about to end, we start listening, we started going towards the dunya again. Got to get those overgarments. Got to go to the store. Got to get that style. Got to get this. Got to get that. Instead of trying to maximize on it. Because all of the wealth and everything that we can amass is not going to be better. So we should be rejoicing on that. And the Shaykh then he says, وَحْذَرُوا مِنْ كَثْرَةِ اللَّهُ وَاللَّعَبْ وَكَثْرَةِ الْخَصْلَ وَإِعْرَادَ عَنْ طَاعِتِ اللَّهُ He says, so be wary. Stay far away from a lot of playing around and a lot of joking and a lot of amusement. And a lot of being neglectful and unmindful and turning away from the obedience of Allah. The Shaykh says, stay far away and beware. Beware of an abundance of playing around, an abundance of laughing and joking, an abundance of amusement, and an abundance of, abundance of negligence, and turning away from the obedience of Allah. For indeed, Shaytan, he is vigil. Indeed, Shaytan, the devil, is zealous to make your actions, meaning the actions that you were doing in Ramadan, become null and void. And to erase everything that you did of good during that month. So he's beautified for some people that when Ramadan ends, when Ramadan is finished, that person becomes hurran, paliqan, like he's a person that just got parole, like he's a person that just got a conditional release from a prison. فَيَنْطَلِقُ فِي اللَّهُ وَاللَّعَبْ وَالْغَفْلَةِ وَإِضَاعَةِ الصَّلَاةِ مِنْ غَيْرِ ذَلِكِ مِنَ الْمُنْكَرَاتِ 
as soon as he's as though he's a prisoner that's just been released, that's just been paroled, he goes back and rushes to playing around in amusement and games and joking and being neglectful and leaving off and wasting his prayers and other things like that of the reprehensible acts. The Sheikh says, فَلَا تَنْقَضُوا فَلَا تَنْقَضُوا مَا غَزَلْتُمْ فَتَكُونُوا كَالَّتِي نَقَضَتْ غَزْلَهَا مِنْ بَعْدِ قُوَّةٍ أَنْكَاثَا And then the Sheikh, his voice began to crack up again, as though he was about to cry again. He says, so don't undo what you were doing. Like the woman whom Allah mentions in the Quran, don't be like the woman who unravels the thread, that, that, that ball of yarn that she started in the beginning of the day, and then at the end of the day that she took the entire day to spin this ball of thread, or to spin this ball, to weave this ball of, of yarn, and then she unravels with it, and loses its strength, and unravels it at the end of the day. Then the sheikh says, Fattakullah. So fear Allah, ibad Allah, O worshippers of Allah. Hafidu ala ma abiltum min al amal saliha. And hold on to and preserve and protect your actions and your deeds that were righteous deeds. Watubu in Allah min taqsirikum wa khataikum. He says, and repent and fly to Allah in repentance from your negligence. Repent to Allah from your negligence and your sins. For indeed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He accepts the repentance of those who repent. This is what we want to present this afternoon, inshaAllah. Anything that I've said that is correct is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Anything that I've said that is incorrect is from your brother Dawood Adib or Iblis, our avowed open enemy. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Jazakum Allah khairan abad dihya. Amin wa alaikum assalamu alaikum.